Hi there. In this lecture, we will be covering a brief example of how to define a class in Python and how to instantiate an instance of a class in Python by creating an object. Basically, what this means is we are creating a blueprint for something and then we are creating that thing. In this example, I'll be creating a class called cat. What you will notice is that the word cat is uh, capitalized and is followed by open close brackets. Then I'm following this by a colon. Now in our previous example earlier on, we, we noted that a colon was merely an indication that the next lines of code beneath us are going to be indented in a code block relating to the line with the colon at the end. So now everything that we add after this needs to be indented. I'm going to put an extra space in between this and my next bit just to separate the code a bit. And again, I'm now creating a function or within the context of a class, a method. This method allows us to define what a class can do or what the blueprint can do. So a cat can meow. This is something that it can do. Just as a note that this is not an attribute of a class. Maybe the pitch of the meow or the sound of the meow, that might be an attribute. However, this is not an attribute. This is a method. This is something that it can do and not something that it is. Lovely. The next line, we will need to indent that further <coughs> to create the, uh, the content of this method. So what I'm going to do just for test purposes is print out the word meow so that we know that this thing is meowing. Fortunately for us, we don't need to put a semicolon at the end as we would in PHP. And because of this print function, we can now see in our console what is going on here. The print function is fantastic for printing out things to our console for the purpose of testing and for debugging. In this case, it is just part of our program. Now, what you will notice is that I am taking my indentation back to the beginning again. This is because we are now jumping out of the cat class and we are going to, to do something unrelated to the cat class. Well, it's related, but it is not within the paradigm of the cat class. What I'm going to do is I'm going to now create an object of the cat class. So I do this by creating a Python variable. In this case, the Python variable is called Tom. What we will notice between Python variables and PHP variables is that PHP variables are preceded by a dollar sign. Uh, JavaScript, for example, is preceded by a var sign, whereas Python, nice, clean, simple, is just the word. Again, the same way that variables are declared in PHP, we should keep similar things in mind with regards to Python variables. Some of these things include uh, keeping the first letter small, not including spaces. So if we are going to create a variable with more than one word to use camel case or to use underscores like so, Tom the cat, lovely. Next, let us create our class or our from, let's create our object from our class. So what we need to do to get this right is to actually call our class by saying cat and then and then adding open close brackets to indicate that this is the cat class that we are calling. Lovely, now we have an object of the cat class. And because it is an object, it, has, it is, has now has access to everything that the cat class has access to. So now Tom the cat can meow. So let us add that. So we go Tom the cat dot to indicate we are now calling a method of this class. In PHP, we would use an arrow, uh, dash arrow like that. Whereas in Python, we use a dot, and then we call the name of the method or the function, <coughs> like so. So now what we should get if we save this is a cat printed out to the console. So let's call this something appropriate cat.py and we'll notice py is the Python extension so everything will be will be called dot py. If we save this we now have a cat class and you'll see that our Python syntax has now kicked in. 
lovely. So let us try and run this now. So what I've done is I've moved over to my console and I've um, CD'd into a current working directory, which is where we are at the moment, which is in folder number five. And if I do ls, which lists the current files inside of a directory, you'll see that we have cat.py. Now, in order to run a Python function, we will need to say Python, or Python file rather, and then the name of the file. Now, I'm expecting this to give me an error, so this is a planned error. And if we hit enter, you will see that we are given an error. So, let's go through this error. Trace back, most recent call last. This is not really relevant. What we are looking for is where the error is and how we can fix it. So, the error is on line 7 in the file cat.py at Tom the cat. So the assumption that I'm making here is that it is something to do with the method meow. So the error that we are getting is a type error. Meow takes no arguments when given. Now, the, what is happening here is when we are calling this method, it is automatically passing the class of cat into this method when we call it. So this is a bit of a problem for us because we don't want to pass any parameters to this because we don't want to use anything in mail other than just printing it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the self variable to the mail method so that now, even though we don't add anything here, self the self um, instance that is required for this function or method is fulfilled. So now it should be able to run without any errors. If you don't understand what is going on here, I'm going to explain it in a little bit more depth within the next few lectures. Now, if I hit the up arrow, I'll be able to run my last command and hooray, we are now saying mu, which it said over there. Fantastic. In the next lecture, I'll be covering the same functionality in a PHP file, and then we will be moving on to some more advanced class and objects techniques.